competitive. He finds a way to make big plays, whether it's in football or even in his high school basketball career. He's made a lot of big plays. Uh, he doesn't you know, drop anything that uh, is a meaningful catch. <laughs> he just has consistent hands, uh, and he comes through for us. And that's whether we ask him to catch a lot of balls. Maybe some games he doesn't get many. He's very unselfish. Uh, he just wants to win. Uh, so you know, we're, we're, we love having him on our team, I think. For us, maybe we need to move him around a little bit, make sure that uh, we, we get him isolated in different areas where a team can't concentrate on him. That's a few things that a team uh, did to us, uh, and he's very open uh, to wanting to do that. So I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, we can keep him healthy and we can uh, utilize him as well as we can to allow, allow him to do his thing and showcase his talent. Jeff, as a program, you have Rondale, you have a receiver like that. I know it's kind of an obvious question, but how can you use that well, we feel confident we can recruit receivers and we can showcase their ability. And uh, it's been a proven fact that pretty much everywhere we've been, uh, you know, we like to throw the football and we like to throw it up the field and, and do things that uh, can, they can help them at the next level. So, you know, recruiting in state is vitally important. We want to make sure we provide all those top prospects an opportunity to come to Purdue and show what they're all about and we'll continue to work hard at that. Um, you know, Rondell, from Indiana, David from Indianapolis, uh, we've got Milton Wright from uh, Kentucky uh, across the border. Uh, you know, uh, we took a transfer receiver uh, uh, in Brock from Marshall, who, who uh, we feel like can do some good things for us. You know, we want to showcase those guys, let them go out there and make plays and have fun. And playing the receiver position if you're in a passing offense is a lot of fun. They enjoy it and uh, they can make a name for themselves. So if you had a number of uh Special teams plays that didn't go your way last year. How did you evaluate that area during the offseason? Well, it was it was evaluated right off the bat. We we, we definitely recognized the areas that uh, we missed firing on that we got to get better at. Uh, it's been an extensive study to make sure that how can we prevent that from happening. And I think you know there are things we want to do schematically a little bit different to help us. There's things we want to do personnel wise a little bit better as far as utilizing a few more of our productive players that uh, play on the defense to, to make them you know, play special teams as well and, and make sure that they're, uh, they realize how vital, uh, vitally important special teams is. So that's been an emphasis. Uh, I think it's, we've addressed it. Now we've got to go out and practice it, and teach it, learn it, and execute it. Jeff, which of your young receivers who haven't had a chance to play yet, are you really going to rely on this year, you think? the redshirt freshmen, the sophomores, the true freshmen. Well, I think of receivers that haven't saw the field a whole lot. T.J. Sheffield is probably the uh, the main one that stood out this spring. I think uh, returning kicks last year helped him kind of gain his confidence, gain the toughest level that he knows he can go out there and get it done. He's had a good spring. I think you'll see him on the field quite a bit. Rashawn Rice is another receiver who had a good spring. Plays on the outside, a bigger target. Uh, he's done some very good things for us. I think you'll be able to, to see him, you know, get on the field and, and, and do some things. Uh, Brock Thompson, uh, you know, from, you know, transfer from Marshall. I think uh, you'll see him get out there, and, and while he's uh, done some good things at, at his last place, we, we like what we've seen to this point. So, you know, those are three guys we can add to the mix, uh, along with probably a few others that I I did mention that could easily see the field. How's your depth on defense? Feel like going training day? Well, I think our depth on defense is good in certain areas, and continues needs to continue to improve in others. Uh, Secondary is not as deep as we would like it to be at this point. Um, we feel like the first unit has experience. We feel like we've addressed some of those concerns uh, uh, in adding Jamari Brown uh, to the corner position and adding uh, Chris Jefferson at the safety position, two transfers. Uh, they've done a good job to this point. We've got to continue to work the young guys we have, but you know, that's a concern. I think we have quite a few linebackers. Some haven't played a whole lot, but we have some depth there on the defensive line. We have a lot of defense alignment. Uh, you know, they need to show us that they can play. They need to prove to us that they can go on the field and execute. Uh, and we need to get them in the game and, and get them some, some valuable experience and let them go uh, do their thing. Jeff, obviously I asked you a little earlier what it's like to have two guys here specifically, but also leaders in your program from West Lafayette and Lafayette. Can you talk about what it's like to coach those guys literally that grew up across the street from Purdue and have them in leadership roles on your team? Well, we've got George Karloftis, we've got Yanni Karloftis from West Lafayette, we've got Jackson Anthem from Central Catholic. All three guys have been tremendous assets for the program. They're great leaders. They do everything you ask. They work extremely hard. They represent 
represent them, their family, and they have a strong desire to help Purdue win. Uh, I think all three can make a difference for us. Uh, they lead by example. Uh, we want to continue to you know, get as many guys from across the street and in the state as we can because I think that's when the team can be special when you when you when you get the best talent you can from in-state and build it from around it. Uh, but we're excited to watch them play. I think. Uh, see more of Jackson after this year, hopefully on the field. I think Yanni, uh, who was out most of the spring with an injury, would be back and hopefully get him off the field as well. So I think he